Take that. You have no chance. Send a few quantum torpedoes. And you are destroyed. Oh, hi guys. Sorry, I didn't see it. I was a bit busy destroying these stragglers. It's AJ here, so welcome to another quick battle video. In this one, we will be fighting the Borg with this magnificent version of the Enterprise E. Now, we're going to be using some special weapons that this version of the uh, Enterprise has. It has um, phased plasma torpedoes. It also has something that I like to call super quantum torpedoes, which will be interesting to see. I don't know if I'll have to use them or not. But uh, yeah, I'll see which, which weapons will be useful uh, in this battle. So uh, without further ado, let's introduce the uh, Borg ships that we will be facing today from the add ships menu and we will find bog cube we'll face them one at a time because i think if we face more than one at one time then it will be a bit too much so uh yeah let's do them one at a time first one's coming up we have a runabout here for some reason helping us i guess he's feeling a bit brave Let's switch to phase plasmas. Take care of this ball cube. Send some quantum torpedoes front and rear on this fish on this ship. This is a nice looking um, bog cube to be honest. Very high quality. There we are. Phase, quant phase plasma torpedoes. Oh, I have it on spread. I'm changing it to single. I prefer single fire, to be honest. They keep changing the vectors of their shields, so we can't as attack one side. Let me see if I can attack some of their subsystems. What's that cortical node? Let's see if we can get that. It seems to be in the middle, to be honest, so I won't be able to get it. I think we'll just have to whittle down their shields. Sending quantums and phase plasma torpedoes alike. They're actually managing to do some damage to our systems. If you look at the the graphic near the shields something seems to be disabled I'm not exactly sure what it is do some of their weapons breach the shields i wouldn't be surprised because they are the ball we seem to be doing very little damage to their shields but they are going down slowly very slowly if you ask me let's keep sending quantums and phase plasma torpedoes I'm trying to attack one side so we can disable those shields and then get up their uh, whole damage get in there and do some whole damage that is but they keep changing the side of the shields Oh, we're doing some damage now. Oh, they're getting through our shields and disabling some of our systems. We need to protect the bottom shields more. We're at 52% there. As we send in a barrage of phase plasmas there. Protect the bottom. Oh, a bit too close. 
for the cat not to run to the I wanna run into the queue. Most likely will come out far worse than they do. Doing good so far. Considering it's just one ship versus a bulk cube. Well there's the Enterprise. A souped up Enterprise that is, with phase plasmas. Sending rear quantums and phase plasmas. Ooh, they got through our shields somehow. They're doing damage to our hull. Some of their weapons seem to be phasing through our shields as well. It's supposed to be the other way around because we have the phase plasma torpedo. Okay, now they're doing some serious damage and they're doing some serious damage to us. Some of our front end torpedo launches have been destroyed or disabled. They look destroyed to be honest. They're disabling a lot of systems somehow. I don't know how. Our shields are mostly up. We need to protect those torpedo launches. They must be targeting them specifically. Sending as many as we can on the rear side. Sending quantums and plasmas. This should be over in no time. They only have 500 drones left on their ship. As it shows. Okay, we'll let them hit the side of the shields as they are 100%. Wow, it really knocks them down to 70%. We try to avoid those torpedoes, especially from vital systems. It might be them that are getting through, I'm not 100%. Oh wow, they really do get through the shields. The ball cube is nearly destroyed. This might just finish the job. Sending as many torpedoes as I possibly can. front end torpedo launcher is disabled. The one that launches four, four torpedoes. <laughs> it's a big loss to the front. But at least we got like 10 at the rear. Hopefully this finishes them off. We only got a hundred more torpedoes left. Only a hundred more. And the quantum torpedoes finish the job. There goes the bog cube. Adios amigo. That was a, a decent fight. They did manage to disable some of our weapons. Yes, Let's see if anything can be repaired. No, destroyed systems, unfortunately. It's not in the damaged systems which could have been repaired. Mm. So without yes, fixing Captain. our ship, we will add another ball cube. We'll try this one. And we'll try a tactical ball cube after that. Oh, I'm scared. I'm very scared. Resistance is futile. Guys, resistance is futile. Uh-oh. It's coming in fast. Wow, that is a really fast ship. It's traveling at 20 kph under normal impulse power. Wow, that is a fast ship. And it's such a huge one as well. Crazy, absolutely crazy. 
let's see how long they last. Though the ball cube was able to disable some of our systems. This one's torpedoes seem to be wild, they're not well aimed and we're already through the shields. This ship is not gonna last long. Let's see how long they last. Wow, it's so fast though. I mean, look at it. Go. <laughs> it's almost... Looks like it's fast forwarding itself. And it's destroyed already. Wow. There's the second ball cube. 2-1 to the Enterprise. And there's the, uh, where has it gone? The trinary star system. Look at that. Beautiful. And now it's time to orders, add Captain. another ball cube. They're not really doing a good job of assimilating the Enterprise. I love that all of them have different sounds. It's a tactical cube, which is supposed to be more Use dangerous. Supposed to be being the optimal word. Oh, do they have a cutting beam? I hope not. Oh god, their, their weapons are very accurate. And they're able to hold us within their beam. Oh god. Oh no. This one's dangerous. Okay, I think it might be time to run away. Oh my goodness me. Yeah, I'm running. Where's the planet? Let's intercept. Let's run away. Oh my god. That's us warping in system warp. We need to gather our, our breath. I want to test out the super quantum torpedoes against this bog cube. Intercept course. Look, it's just firing randomly. Look at it. Look how many weapons it's just wasting. <laughs> okay. Let's see what the super quantum torpedo does to this. I think it's trying to find us. It's not doing a good job. Will the super quantum torpedo be able to destroy it? No. Not really living up to its name, is it? Their forward shield has failed. And they did disable the shield. This is kind of cheating, I guess, but... <laughs> but I didn't see any other way we could just defeat the uh, tactical ball cube. Without the super quantum torpedoes and the cloaking device. Whoa, that is a lot of damage. I think we need to send about four or five more. Okay, maybe a bit more than four or five. Will it be destroyed? I think we're gonna lose the cloak soon. Yep, we're out of cloak. And the ball cube is destroyed. Breached, Nicely done. I don't think we could have defeated that ship by conventional means. By conventional means, I mean phase plasma torpedoes. We only have 72 left. And we wasted like 100 on the other one. Captain. So, uh, yeah, that, that one was... To be honest, I will give that to the bog tactical cube. Because I could not see a way of us winning that battle. So uh, I'd say 2-1 to the Bog. If we weren't using cheat weapons. So uh, let's add... Did we already? We already battled that one, did we? So we battled this tactical cube. Which is supposed to be different than this one. But we'll, we'll see. We are the Bog. Lower your shields and surrender your ships. We will add your biological and technological distinctiveness to our own. 
Your culture will adapt to service us. Yeah. Resistance is futile. Intercept course. Plotted. Is resistance futile though? Is it? Let's see. Let's see if we can defeat the Borg by conventional weapons this time. I'm not going to cheat using the um, the super quantum torpedoes. If we run out of phase plasmas, I guess we'll have to use... Oh, we already got through the shields. What? They did repair their hold quite quickly. Oh, I keep forgetting the front launchers are a bit disabled. Oh, this ship is really fast as well. Oh, we're doing a lot of damage to the shields. Wow, they already disabled. I think this is one of the weaker versions of the cube. Tactical cube, that is. Wow, the, the ship is nearly destroyed. You might not have to waste too many uh, phase plasma torpedoes on this after all. And it's destroyed, wow. Wow. Okay, this is the opposite end of the spectrum. It's, it's underpowered, more like. Which is a bit disappointing, to be honest. So, um, let's add yes, one more. There's one more version. And it's this, it's just named Cube. Yeah, a generic Cube. So, let's see how we can do against this one. This will be the last battle. I mean, we've already defeated two or three bold cubes. Oh, this is a very low quality version. I mean, it is called low cube. So I'm guessing that means low quality. So we will intercept and try and destroy this cube. Hopefully we can. I'm not sure if we can though. We only have 41 more phase plasma torpedoes. We can focus on the cortical node, but we will have to be a bit careful because I'm pretty sure this one has um, a cutting beam which can cut through the shields in no time. So we don't want to mess about with this one. Because I remember that facing against this back in the day. Sending as many plasma torpedoes as we possibly can. I really don't want to hear that high-pitched beam sound. Because we will be getting destroyed in one shot. It's really bad that we just sat here. Oh no, they're turning the shields. We'll have to get in closer. Clever, very clever Borg. Turning the shields away. I'm really scared of that quitting beam because it's a one shot kill weapon. No matter what ship I'm in. I don't know which side the cutting beam is on. Disable the cortical node. Node. I don't know what that does though. We'll try and destroy it first. Let's go the opposite way. It might be on the cortical cortical node. Um, the this one over here. It might be on that side of the ship, the uh, cutting beam, which I'm so scared of. Oh no, we only have two, um, four more uh, phase plasma torpedoes, so we'll have to use them carefully, make them count, and destroy this cortical node. Oh, nearly. Well, those are the quantums. Oh no, 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 no. Ooh, nearly ran into it. Okay, don't fire the cutting me at me, please. 
Is that the ship destroyed? Wow. We got it. Nicely done. I was actually really scared that we might run into the cutting beam, which, like I said, is a one-shot kill. So, that is... Wait, what's the score then? Your orders, sir. We'll end Stand down red weapons. alert. All stations, yellow alert. So, we faced the Borg Cube, which we defeated in conventional means. So, 1-0 to the Enterprise. The Tactical Cube, we kind of cheated on that one. We uh, used the... Um, we used the Super Quantum Torpedoes in Cloak. So, I won't count that as a win for us. I'll... I'll give that one to the Borg Tactical Cube because it was easily overpowering us. Those uh, tractor beams were just holding us in place, so I kind of had to run away from it and engage the cloak and fire the Super Quantum. So one all um, to the Borg and the Enterprise. And this Borg Cube we defeated very easily, so 2-1 to the Enterprise. And this Borg Tactical Cube was super weak and we were able to defeat it in very few shots so i will give that to the enterprise so that's three one to the enterprise and of course the cube that we just defeated now the low cube air quotes uh, was defeated as well just by targeting the cortical node number two which i mean sounds like it's not an important system but apparently it is so that's four one to the enterprise one two three four yeah four one to the enterprise so yeah, I think um, that will be it for the battles, but I do want to show you something and that's the the in-system warp so we can go towards the planet and kind of eclipse the sun. It's a nice view, so let's just Intercept explore course, the planet. system a little bit and show you the view of the outside, how fast the ship travels in the system. Look how fast it is. We're going towards the planet. You can hardly see it. And we're traveling at roughly 2 million miles per s kilometers per hour. There's the planet. <laughs> we're almost passing it. We don't want to pass it. Oh, look at that. It's got rainbow colors. Okay, I want to go Intercept towards it. Plotted. The ship travels so fast. It almost goes past the planet. So let's intercept, intercept course, course again. It's not going straight towards it. It's kind of going sideways. I don't know why it's doing that. But you can see the Idran planet number one in the star system. There's only got one one uh, one planet course, in this star plotted. system. So we'll just go close in and then we'll do an eclipse of the star or one of the three stars because it is a trinary star system which is why I love I love this star system there we can see two of the three stars there's the third third star I'm not sure if the middle one is actually bigger or just closer I'm not actually sure about that. We will we will try and um, create an e eclipse just for the views. Views in in the sense of a nice view. So we're eclipsing one, and we will be eclipsing the other. Let's do chase view. Oh, the planet is getting bigger. There we are. <laughs> Looks really nice. And yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. We will be ending the video here. And, um, if you want to see more videos like this one, uh, obviously like and subscribe and click the bell icon to receive updates when I upload new videos. So that's goodbye from me.
Captain, we're on a collision course. 